A man Cleveland Terry posted something uh, recently here. He posted this right here. He posted, uh, you know, DJs are just jukeboxes with an ego. Now, now, I don't think he was saying that about us. I think it was just a good meme um, because I think a lot of customers think that that's what we are. We are just a person who presses these glowy buttons and it make no it makes noises and stuff like that. So I thought about it and I said, well, let's take that a step further. So people already think that we're this thing right here, you know, that they can take money, slide in, make a request and play the song that they want to do. Me, myself, I take full offense to that. (laughs) I take full offense and stuff to that. Me, myself. Now, I would like to think that I'm just not a person that's standing over there pressing buttons and making you have a good time. I hope that the job that I do is more exciting and stuff than that because these jukeboxes, yeah, I mean, you got to give them money and they play music and that's kind of what we do. I mean, it is. In a sense, we are the soundtrack for the evening. We just are. The problem with that is, is that people take, this is why they don't pay the DJ as much as we should make based on all the stuff that we have to do to, to prep is because they think we're one of these things here that, Oh, a DJ can just put together something real quick and come out there and it'll just be all great. No, it's, it's not that I'm catering an entire second half of your wedding to you specifically that, you know, little Sarah and stuff didn't get last week. You know, Sarah and Clark didn't get that last week, but you're getting this one this week. You're getting a completely customized version of a reception from us. And I don't think they they recognize that. So they look at it like, oh, it's just a DJ. That's the person I'll worry about the least. When it's actually the person that they should worry about the most. I told you guys a while back that I've had I've only had about a few a few brides that understood that. Couples think that the reception is based on the scenery and and all that stuff. It's not. All that stuff comes secondary to the time that they had. Nobody is going to go home in the evening and and talk about how good your flowers look other than maybe your grandparents or the older folks. Nobody's going to go home and tell you how good the tablecloth and linens and stuff looked. Nobody's going to go home and tell you how the cake and stuff looked. You know what they will go home and talk about? That was the greatest party I've ever been to. That was the best reception ever. The music was incredible. That's what they will talk about. Oh, that music was terrible. That DJ sucked. That's the stuff that they're going to talk about. So I think that we are way more and way past being a jukebox. There's no way that that can just be the basic standard and stuff for us because that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Sometimes we're the coordinator. Sometimes we are the, 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 shoot the handyman the cleanup guy the the help me during the 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 down times the the person that makes sure that that every that there's no silent moments i mean think about that when you come to a reception there are really no silent moments and stuff during that time somebody's either talking on the mic or music is playing you know you don't get that and stuff by somebody just standing behind the booth and you think that they've just come with some something already pre-made this stuff is all customized and this stuff takes time it takes effort that's why we sit down and have i mean i wouldn't sit down with any couple and have any meetings if i was a jukebox why would i need to if if i'm just going to do what i want to do and push a button here and push a button here i mean i don't need to talk to you to do that 
I don't. I could just play whatever. But I sit down, I ask questions, and I talk about the event, talk about what I can do, talk about what they, what their ex- expectations and stuff are. Because we're more than that. We are. We are the party. We are the memory. I mean, you give your crowd the wedding is for you guys, and the reception is for your guests. It just is. And if you want your guests to have a good time, you have to give them great music. And how do you get that? The DJ has to give you that. So all I'm saying is, you know, the next time somebody tells you, you know, oh, you, you know, I had another DJ that that paid that I paid them six hundred dollars. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's what he accepted. Oh, that's what that young lady accepted. If it was a girl DJ, but a good quality DJ should be paid quality amount should be and this is why we need to all be on the same scale whenever we are trying to raise these prices we definitely do because how are we going to battle these bands they don't call a band a jukebox how are we going to battle these bands if everybody is in a price range that ranges from some ridiculous amount from like a 500 dollar dj all the way up to a, a $2,200 DJ. That, that, you, you, that, that spectrum is too wide. We got to shrink that down. We got to at least make everybody pay a minimum, a minimum of nine to a, 900 to to $1,000 for a wedding. At least the minimum. Got to. It's worth. If you don't think your time is worth that, then you would charge less. But all the work and everything that I put in in these events, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not to DJ for you if I can't accommodate you. I am not a jukebox. Let me know in the comments and stuff down below what you guys think. Let me know in the chat and stuff what you guys think. Um, you know, again, this is not a rub against Cleveland Terry at all. He put up a great meme and he wanted to start a conversation. And I just saw it and I just said, you know what? That's what these couples think we are. That's what they think we are, and we have to show them otherwise. But these little things right here, that's what you get for your little bars and stuff like that. That's why I don't like playing bars. You got this. Go pay that. (laughs) If you can find some ones. (laughs) 